<laughs> so we are going to be making vegetable that is a four row okay this is different vegetable this is called shoko it is no normal green that's green vegetable okay first i have my boiling water i'm going to be adding it inside my boiling water at this stage my gas is already turned off okay so i'm just using this boiling water you know to blunt the vegetable okay yeah so i will just add a little bit of salt i'm just going to blunt the vegetable and you know wash it proper then we will start cooking i just want to carry you guys along to show you the process that i'm using to prepare my a furry roll okay yeah this is not spinach this is shoko yokoto <laughs> okay guys so after mixing it with my all total like this i'm just make sure that all the vegetable enter the all total i'm just going to blunt it this way my gas is not no is no longer on i've already turned it off so i'll just allow it to sit for like two to three minutes then i will just drain out the water then we will start cooking okay that is the process of how to wash your shoko so after i've drained out the water next i just want to slice my vegetable already i've blended my pepper onions abanero pepper fresh abanero pepper and garlic okay so i'll just slice my onions and slice my vegetable then we will start cooking so most of the time before i start uh, slicing my vegetable i always blunt the leaf first okay before i will slice it you can also slice it before blunting it but i normally love it this way okay you can also do it the way you want this way is very easy for you to slice okay yeah it's not take much time and much stress to slice your vegetable all right this is other way that i normally slice my vegetable it's so easy try it if you have not okay so after slicing it we'll just start preparing our soup okay yeah i have a lot of vegetable here but i'll just you know pause it for that way i'm slice the rest of camera next i will add vegetable oil in my pot add some onions fry it for like two minutes or so so after frying it for like two minutes the next thing i'm going to be adding my locust beans okay there is no a furry roll without your iru, okay? Always make sure you add your iru. That way you have that local and special taste and flavor. Is my fresh pepper, habanero, onions, and garlic, okay? Yeah. So I'll just fry everything together. So after frying it, I'm going to be adding my other ingredients. Here I have dry guinea fowl okay this is not chicken i'll add my seasoning cube that guinea fowl is very dry very very dry okay so i'll just put it on time so that it will absorb all the you know the steel and everything so that it will it will look soft when you are eating it it will be soft when you are eating it okay yeah i'll just mix it every mix it together and allow it to cook with my sauce okay yeah so my sauce has cooked for like five minutes okay as you can see then i'll be adding other ingredients to it like my dry fish okay i will add my cow skin i have a little bit of cow skin i have my prawns and i'm going to be adding my isam okay this periwinkle that i'm adding is not that necessary okay you can well skip it if you don't want it okay yeah so I just added it as well because i have it at home so i'll just mix everything together you know allow it to cook so i just add this my extra meat that i have spare meat that i have at home okay so i just want to add everything together you know to just make the taste you know different and unique that is good meat that i just add now okay so after mixing everything together i allow it to cook for some time so next i'll be adding my vegetable to eat okay you know this uh, vegetable is already cooked it's not it's not that fresh anymore so we don't need to cook it too much so after adding it we just mix everything together okay allow it to you know just simmer for like a minute our soup is ready okay guys trust me you can enjoy this eforiro with any swallow of your choice okay you can enjoy it with rice you can enjoy it with any swallow you can enjoy it with plantain anything okay so the last thing that i'm adding 
is my crayfish okay i'm just trying to add crayfish you know to give it that extra soupy taste okay yeah so a furry roll does not need to add too much water in fact you don't even need to add water when you are cooking your vegetable because the vegetable already has water on it okay so once you just allow it to simmer for like a minute as you can see there's a liquid coming out of it our soup is ready guys there's a liquid coming out of it without even adding water to it so guys thanks for watching let's go to the dining and enjoy this food together please like the video if you have not guys thank you for staying guys thank you for staying to this moment i really appreciate so let's demolish this delicious food together in the, the father son holy spirit amen let's eat guys let's eat this is gary for food okay Hmm. 
Let me try. Sweeter than chicken. This is gonna flower, guys. Mmm. guys thanks so much for watching please like share subscribe to the channel if you haven't i'll see you guys all in my next video bye for now